Hello, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at differentiating the cos squared function. So you want to differentiate uh, cos squared x with respect to x. So this is actually very similar to the previous video that I did where we differentiated uh, sine squared. And when we did that, so this is just the result from the previous video. We got 2 cos multiplied by sine. So this is a very similar procedure to how we, uh, for when we want to calculate the derivative of cos squared. So what we're going to do then is we're going to rewrite it just so that we can emphasize that this is the cos function all squared. And then what we've got then is essentially uh, the cos function within the squared function. And that's uh, essentially a function of the function which again means we need the chain rule. So to use the chain rule, again, the same process that we've used in previous videos, what we're gonna do is differentiate the inside of the squared function to so differentiate the cos with respect to the variable x. <clears throat> so when we do that, this is d by dx of cos x. And we're gonna multiply that by the squared function, the derivative of the squared function, with respect to cos x. So differentiating this cos uh, squared x with respect to cos x. Let me just make the uh, mess a little bit neater there. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> so we started differentiating the cos with respect to x. Sorry for that. Uh, so it's going to be minus uh, sine x, because when we differentiate cos, we get negative sine. <clears throat> and when we differentiate the squared function with respect to the variable, well, we just get 2 times the variable, so 2 times cos x uh, for this. <clears throat> and again, we can just simplify this, so we're going to get a negative 2 sine x times by cos x. And so that's going to be the uh, the final answer. So when you differentiate with respect to x, cos squared of x, then we're going to get negative 2 sine of x times by cos of x. So that's the result of this derivative. And similarly to what I did in the previous video, we can actually generalize, uh, we can generalize this result if we have a power of n instead. So if we were to differentiate uh, with respect to x, cos x all to the power of n. So it's very similarly to what we did. We differentiate the cos, that gets us negative sine x. We differentiate the, uh, the power of n function with respect to the cos, and that's going to get us n times by cos to the power of n minus 1. And so just simplifying that, we get negative n sine x times by cos n to the minus 1 of x, and that would be the result for, for this derivative. 